is the wrapper department. We went through the fillers, and we basically this department here hand strips all our binders and wrappers. And what I wanted to show you how important barrel aging was for the wrappers that we use on our cigars. So for example, this particular wrapper right here has been completely fermented. These wrappers here are actually 61 months old. But when we deposit these bourbon barrels, depending on what type of wrapper it would be, is how long we're going to keep them here. So normally they're deposited here anywhere between six months up to 14 months. And just to show you the difference, if you look here, this is a five-year-old wrapper that's not barrel aged. And this is the same wrapper that's been in a barrel for 11 months. If you can look, look how rich and caramelized the color is. I could say the same thing for the Connecticut shade right here too. If you look, it's not that bright yellow yolky color, it's that honey butterscotch color. And if you look at the Maduro wrappers here, you can see how nice, rich, and caramelized they are where they have that dark chocolate color. And what we do is we color tone them. So if you look, you can see this Perdomo Habano bourbon barrel age, and you can see the wrapper matches the color. If you look at the Connecticut shade Perdomo Habano, you can see that the wrapper matches that color. And then you can see the barrel aging, how this color matches. And what's important when you look at these three cigars, when we're going to color match these cigars, we want these wrappers to be caramelized. So this department actually not only hand strips all the wrappers, we don't do these by machines, because we say that we totally make every cigar by hand, so everything is done completely by hand, and the wrappers are hand selected by size, width, and texture. And then what we do is we color code them because we want a consistent color of the wrappers so they're completely uniform. These wrappers, after they're barrel aged, they're gonna be bursting with their flavors once the cigar maker makes these cigars. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk around and we're gonna show you the process on how we hand strip all these wrappers and binders. And the relative humidity here is approximately 79%. The reason the humidity levels here are a little bit higher than where we were just previously at is because we need these tobaccos to be supple and elastic. So when the roller gets them, what's going to happen is they're going to stretch and all the, the sheen of the wrapper is going to come up to the top of the cigar. After the cigars are stripped, they're going to be coated by left-handed wrapper and right-handed wrapper, right-handed binder and left-handed binder. The reason we do that is because every cigar roller here at Perdomo Cigars has to be ambidextrous. The reason they have to be ambidextrous is they have to work left-handed and right-handed because we want to follow the vein structure. If you ever see a cigar and it has a lot of veins underneath, that's because it has the wrong binder and wrapper. It either has a left-handed binder and a right-handed wrapper or vice versa. What we want to do is we want to follow the vein structure so the barrel is nice and smooth. If it's a premium cigar, you should do it correctly from the first time. So our rollers have to be both left-handed and right-handed, whether they're making their blend and bunching a cigar with the binder and the same thing with the roller. So what happens is when we give the roller their cigar, we know exactly we put on the paper five inch, six inch, seven inch, depending on what size cigar they're gonna make. And also the texture of the wrapper, whether it's left-handed or right-handed, and depending on what cigar we're going to make, it's the, it's the classification of wrapper we're going to give them. So we're gonna walk down here to my right and to your left, and we're gonna show you the process on how we strip, hand strip all our binders and wrappers and how we classify them.